My name is Tyler Yasuda, um, and this is my first video, so it'll be kind of like an introduction to who I am and what I do and why I have a channel. But um, basically, um, I am a drug-free teen competitive bodybuilder. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'll be 19 in early August. But um, I compete in the NAMBF, and that is one of the few truly drug-free organizations. Um, and what I mean when I say drug-free is that we have um, a pretty long list of banned substances, like obviously anabolic steroids, pro-hormones, um, some test boosters, most test boosters, I think, uh, and stimulants. There's a lot of stimulants on the list. Basically, there's a lot, a, a lot of performance-enhancing drugs that we're not allowed to take, and even um, there's quite a few just supplements that you can get over the counter at like your local supplement store that we can't take. And then the way that um, our organization is drug tested is we have to take a polygraph test. Um, I think a maximum of 45 days before our contest, and then if we win a division, then you have to get your piss test as well, uh, you know, the urinalysis uh, for all you technical people out there. But yeah, you, so you have to take basically two tests. So it's pretty strict, um, and I think that's about as clean as any sport gets. Um, I mean, obviously, bodybuilding gets a bad rap a lot of time because there are the majority of the organizations out there, they do allow um, competitors to use pretty much whatever they want. Um, and then a lot of guys, they, they call themselves natural bodybuilders as long as they can cycle off whatever they're using um, to pass their drug test. But that's not the way this works. Um, as far as I know, um, this is as clean as it gets. And I, I feel like I'm pretty confident that most of the athletes in the NAMBF and the pro affiliate, the IFPA, are clean. Um, I don't feel like there, there, there may be like a few guys that are questionable, but I would like to believe that everybody's natural. So, um, I guess let's talk about, uh, well, we'll talk about first my first competitive season, which was last year, last summer. Um, so my first contest was the Capital City Bodybuilding and Figure Championships in, I think it was June 16th, 2012. Um, and they didn't have a team division, so I competed in the novice men's division. And I actually, I took first place there. Um, and then my second, and my actually my last contest of last season was the California Natural Muscle Mayhem which uh, I competed in the teen division and I, I won first place there. And actually, I have my trophy right here. I keep this one at school with me just because this is, this is probably one of my biggest accomplishments, I think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can repeat that this year. Um, I'm currently eight weeks out, or I'll be eight weeks out um, this Saturday from my first show of the season. My first show will be the... I think it's in Natural Central Valleys um, on June 29th. Uh, that's in Fresno. Um, and then my next contest will be the Muscle Mayhem again, uh, which is on July 13th. And, and then my last contest of the season will be the Capital Cities, but this year it's actually on August 3rd. So three shows, That's I think that's quite a bit. Um, and hopefully the goal for me this season is to come in... Um, at least a little bit bigger, but I think that my conditioning is going to be the main thing. Uh, last season, I think my upper body was it was about as good as I think I could get it um, in terms of conditioning. Not necessarily size, but definitely my upper, my upper body was conditioned really well. But my probably like from the waist down, uh, my conditioning was not where I, where I wanted it to be, and um, it was just a matter of if I continued to cut um, or to lose weight. I would have been smaller than I wanted to be, so it was kind of like a balance of uh, trying to keep as much size while getting to the, low, the lowest body fat percentage that I could. So hopefully this season, uh, we'll see uh, how much progress I made. And obviously the goal is to win, but that's, you know, that, that a lot of that is uh, out of my, my control. It's just the only thing I can really control is how hard I work. But other than bodybuilding, um, not a whole lot. I, I go to school at UCLA. Uh, I'm a freshman. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what all this stuff behind me is, uh, this is just my dorm room. So back here, uh, that's not my closet. That's someone else's closet. That's my closet, the closed one right there. And then if you look up there, got a bunch of food, a bunch of oatmeal and stuff in there. And then this is just my roommate's desk. And then one of my roommates sleeps up here. The other one sleeps up here. And I sleep on this bed here. And then you got... Uh, Brita water pitcher 
dispenser, whatever you call it over there. And then this is my com this is my laptop, my desk setup over here. Just water. Um, and then two more bottles of water. Yeah, this is actually not milk. This is water. Uh, and this is just a fan of my phone. Uh, but yeah, basically, that's it. So, I guess that's all that I really have to say for this video. Just that that's basically the idea. Is I'm a competitive bodybuilder and I go to school at UCLA and that's all there is. But uh, hopefully, I'll have... I'll try to get a, at least a video out every week. Um, and most of it is going to be um, just information. Uh, it's, it's hard for me to film um, training stuff just because the gym that I go to here doesn't really like that. But um, whenever I go home, uh, whenever I get a, a chance to go home, I'll try to film. And then uh, I'll, I'll post as much training footage as I can. But if you like my stuff, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, subscribing is probably the most important one, but yeah, do whatever you want. Um, I think that's it, guys. See you later.